James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything, but you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? here for you, James. See? I'm real. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Happy Tesla. Happy Happy Tesla. And tonight we're uh, starting Silent Hill 2, one of the, to me, one of the most important games ever made. Uh, and one of the games that really affected who I am and how I think and what actually threw me what actually encouraged me to look deeper to um, try different games aside from the ones I know and that are okay and definitely one of the best soundtracks and stories and Games are everything. It's a masterpiece and should be preserved. Now we're playing the director's cut version, as you can see, or in some regions it's called, or on some platforms it's called uh, Restless Dreams, which is how it's listed on Twitch. But it's this version with the additional expansion. Today it would be a DLC, uh, which gives us even more insight into 
the other side of the story. I'm not going to spoil anything. We're just going to talk about it as we go. And um, it has a few, he has another bonus ethic, at least one more ending, if not two, and a couple of, I don't know if it has any improvements, actually, I'm, I'll be honest. But it does, I checked, it does connect with Silent Hill 3 once we start that for uh, extra scenes, extra, like Easter eggs. Uh, we have to have a completed Silent Hill 2 save. Now, I've deleted my old save from the memory card just because the intro would change, it would spoil things. So I'm just starting, I'm going to start all Silent Hill games clean. There's like first run on all of them. And then as we restream them for different endings, it's going to tie in a lot better. Now, as you can see, Silent Hill 2 has, this is where it started, and I think it just two games had it, action level and riddle level. So if you just want a oh, beginner, that's that wasn't that thing in the original. You have want to have it easy or really easy, but have difficult puzzles, that's on you. But as is customs on Hippotesla streams, we're going to do normal, normal. Unless it's Resident Evil Outbreak, that's where we go very hard. Observe as I cast a spell over my nose. Remember the first review I read about this game? It was a guy who did this comical reviews. He he was a huge Silent Hill fan. Excellent review, but it started with I remember always remember. What a game starts in the toilet. <laughs> now let me just remember the controls. Yeah, it's pretty much the first Silent Hill. So left stick is like Resident Evil uh, tank controls, like uh, the L and one buttons, L one and R one are strafe. To both together are quick turn. And in this uh, area, actually, we can't see other cameras. But let's go. Just look at the backgrounds. This is 2001. It's beautiful. My restless dreams. I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there. name. It's ridiculous. Couldn't possibly be true. That's what I keep telling myself. A dead person can't write a letter. Mary died of that damn disease three years ago. So then why am I looking for her? she mean? This whole town is our special place. Does she mean the park on the lake? We spent the whole day there. Just the two of us staring at the water. Could Mary really be there? Is she really alive? Waiting for me. Gives me the chills every time. I mean, the music combined with, uh, with what he's saying. Let's get the map. That's how you start a Silent Hill game. You gotta get the map. Now, it's 
like after the first game, the first game is kind of the uh, you know the outlier in the series because it focused on Alessa's story, right? And what happened to Alessa and everything that uh, Harry uh, Mason went through was a manifestation of Alessa's um, pain and anger. Uh, well, in the second game, the second game shows how the town itself works. Because Alessa wouldn't be as powerful, or maybe not at all, if she weren't in Silent Hill, which has a history of its own. And this game explores a lot of it, whilst exploring James's story and a story of two other characters. Can get to Silent Hill. Uh, from second game onwards, uh, I, for second and third, definitely. I'm not sure about the. Yeah, fourth is already default. So you can actually set the controls to. Uh, where was that? Here? I think it was this, yeah. So you can set them to wherever you pull the stick, they will go for people who don't like tank controls. But it's so awkward, like the way he turns and everything, the way the camera just. It doesn't feel like it. So for me, it's always going to be. At least the first three games are always going to be the ones that go with the standard tank controls. It looks more cinematic, it feels real, more real, and... Oh, this is important, remember this van for later. I'll explain when, the, when time comes. Now we just gotta get into Silent Hill. And this is... It was the game with the weirdest intro I've seen up to this point. Let's turn the camera. Don't like it when it's looking at James's face. Because... There's no intro. I was used to Resident Evil games where there's, you have like the demo, which is awesome. All three games had it with Resident Evil 3 became epic. And then you had the intro, which would give you the story and everything. But this just has that demo. Everything was silent and it will stay silent. Like You couldn't hear what the characters were talking. That's on purpose. Until the game is cleared at least once, then the intro will change so you can hear their conversations. And I think they did that. It's just, you know, it would spoil a lot of story, things they're saying. But it's it's a cool feature, just like I showed last time in Sand Hill 1, where the intro changed so that Harry and Sybil find uh, Heather or Cheryl, whatever you like to call her. Oh, those sounds. And, you know, this game starts also, like, without any intro. He just... It, that was the intro. He was talking about, you know, why he was here. It, give, it states his purpose and you know what to do. You have a vague goal. And with the map, you should also, I don't know if you mark some. Yeah, so their special place was Rosewater Park, which we need to get to. And as you can see in the north is Paleville, which is where the Lakeside uh, Amusement Park is, which is where we ended the first game, well, kind of, just before nowhere. So you can see that the rest of Silent Hill we explored in the first game is up north. This part here is called South Vale. And there's even like these squares actually show you that you can see parts of the map even more in more detail, which will be necessary when we get there. But let's get moving. Our first save point, which we're not going to use, it's a red paper. That's where I learned the word groping. Okay, so we don't need to. Yeah, we're not going to save for now. But we will head off into the town of Silent Hill. And the thing I was starting to say about the intro, yeah, it starts slow. Nothing's happening for a while. Okay, something will happen now, yeah. Hello, person. I got this music. It's mixed love for it and memories. Excuse me. I... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I no, was it's just... okay. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm kind of lost. Lost? What, are you fucking stupid to get lost? Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for Silent Hill. Is this the right way? Um, yeah. 
hard to see with this fog, but there's only the one road. You can't miss it. Thanks. But... Yes? I think you'd better stay away. This... Uh... Th this town... There's something wrong with it. It's kind of hard to explain, but... Is it dangerous? Maybe. And it's not... She's hiding from... Fog, either. Okay, it's... I got it. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. No, I believe you. It's just... I guess I really don't care if it's dangerous or not. I'm going to town either way. The angles. But why? I'm looking for someone. Who, who, who is it? Someone very important to me. I'd do anything if I could be with her again. Me too. I'm looking for my mama. I, I mean my mother. It's been so long since I've seen her. Look how she holds back, calling her mama. I can't find them either. I'm sorry. It's not your no, problem. I, I hope you find them. Yeah, you too. Now we can interact with her once more. I'm sure. Aren't you looking for someone? That's right. She's like, fuck off, mate. And he's like, oh, yeah, I forgot. Will we read the names here? This is also going to have more significance later. So there's a lot of stuff in the background and things they say that make no sense right now. But they will later. So right now, let's get the hell out. I always get lost in the cemetery. The fog. So the fog in this version, a lot of people have played the... Uh, uh, Xbox 360 and PS3 HD remasters don't people I implore you it's a travesty what they it's it's the worst port of a retro game I've ever played so just to start with just the first thing and I I could rant about it for an hour and I probably will at some point in an episode de dedicated to that but look at this fog this is 2001 right it's 3D volumetric fog it just looks wonderful it looks real just look at a screenshot, of, any screenshot of the 360 version or PS3, the HD collection. It's just like, I don't know, white nothing. <laughs> just your field of vision just stops. That's just, it shouldn't be. Ten years later, I think it was like, no, they made it like, I think 2008. The, so this is 2001 and the remasters were 2008, 9, 10, something like that. It's... It shouldn't have been released, but as the story goes, Konami actually didn't have the full source code for the game, so wait, this is where I came from. Goddamn cemetery. Maybe that's the point, to get lost in the cemetery? Maybe that's symbolism I, <laughs> I lost, because this game is full of verbal and visual symbolism, it's insane. But let's get to our first obstacle. We still have to get it to the town. So that road that I have to run, it's real. This part is all about the sounds creeping you up. And the first time you play, like the first time I played, I was like, I was, I kept thinking something's creeping up on me. So when I was, yeah, you hear it? And there's various weird noises like that, but there's nothing there ever. It's just there to keep you on your toes. Like someone walking. Sometimes you'll hear all oh, blah, blah. That's locked. Southern Hill Ranch. What is it the only ranch you have in town that you have to name it after the town? Okay. Unless it was like an amusement park or something, but it's not on the map. I don't know. Silent Hill Ranch. That was always a bit off to me. Okay, keep running, James.
Show yourself. It's hard to, because I will try to go through symbolism of the monsters, but also try not to spoil too much as we go. But the, I mean, the designs just go up from Silent Hill 1. This is where, I think this is where Team Silent had full focus. Stop walking behind me. So, uh, I've mentioned a few times, for me, the third game is somewhere at the bottom. Even though people say Sun Hill 2 and 3 are the best, I would disagree. I would put uh, Homecoming in front of it. I would put definitely Shattered Memories, which is my second favorite in the series. Is it here? It's somewhere here. There should be. Yeah, it's here. So, as you can see, there's... <laughs> some of the references I lost in the first game. As you can see there, when it's not like clipping too much, there's like a scratch po poster for the Here's Johnny scene from, uh, Here's Johnny scene from uh, Stephen King's uh, Shining. It should be, yeah, it's, I think it's visible. The road swerves, okay. I'm just running, so yeah, J unlike Harry, James doesn't hit the walls and go like bleh. He just stops like any human would. <laughs> I guess that's just a, a trait of Harry's. Walls greatest enemies than everything else in Sand Hill. Danger, keep out. Why? It's just like not even construction, more like construction materials. Dangerous cones, huh? The Roadrunner. But if you stop to rest, and he rests, I don't know between Harry and him who rests uh, funnier. I'm gonna say Harry. But as you can see, he has like a sprint burst when he's fully rested. And as he tires out, uh, it's gonna it's gonna slow down. And it's even more noticeable in Silent Hill 3. Okay, are we here? Really? Let's go left first. There should be a flower shop here. Any health? Anything? Or do I not start? Oh, there it is. Yeah, I remember there was something here. And he will turn his head, as you can see. Stop. He will turn his head. So as you can see, when you're near something, he looks towards it very useful in the dark also the design of the town yeah so the the first game was well all the games well the, I mean the first three games are uh, ambiguous I think even the fourth when they're occurring and it's been I, I, I think even Konami isn't sure because they probably intended it the first game to be in one age and this and then you know, after that, but then when third game came out, because it's set 17 years after the first one, it would be too much into the future. So they were like, yeah, let's set it into the 80s, then 70s, then 80s, then 90s. So, you know, it doesn't matter. As you can see, everything looks like, I don't know, 70s to 90s, especially the vehicle design. All the cars look like older models. Come on, James. Oh god, this fog. Yeah, one thing that you can turn off is the... Can I even go here? Oh, look, I can't. The uh, snow effect? Like the, uh, what is it called? Noise effect? But I don't like turning it off. Like, yeah, it will be a little clearer, but it's, I don't know, it's a part of the game. It's part of all Silent Hill games as far as I know. The first three definitely had it. I know the second and third allow you to turn it off. I don't remember if the first one does. Actually, the first one doesn't have it. What am I saying? Second and third do have it for sure. I just played the first game. I'm not sure. But fourth also has it. I think, yeah, Origins also does. Can we enter here? There we go. That's the crossroad I'm looking for.
Uh huh. So you can see a lot of parallels with the first game of figure out going into the fog. It's not as it's not Cheryl now or like a shadow just now. You gotta chase it. Because that's the reasonable thing to do, right? Holy hell, it's so the last I played was the Xbox 360 version. It's so clear <laughs> compared to this one. I mean that's not a good thing because the game's not it's supposed to be you know obscured and but I swear to god. Yeah, because of the the fog is missing in that one, or just like at least the the real fog is missing. You can really. Where's that sign? This sign. Okay, that's. Um, follow the blood for now. Yeah. Still go straight, right? Wait, I have a map. What am I doing? So just follow the Lindsay Street. I think we'll go to Watch Road. Yeah. Should also, oh, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, here we go. Something is written on it. Too bad I can't read it because I can't read. No, because the surface has been rubbed away. Remains of blank swamp. The blankers of land surround blank. Blank his monument was originally swamp, but was later fill blank. For blank go to blanks nicknamed Blood Swamp because the blankers poured the uh, what blanks. Oh my god, better read it properly. So it's like the first look into the history of the town. But since it's Silent Hill, you're never going to read anything fully. No, it's going to be scratched off or, or soaked with blood or god knows what. Torn. Oh yeah, I didn't even peek into the inventory. So the items you start with are a photo from a uh, photo of Mary from where she was still healthy. If you examine it, you can just look at her. And as you can see behind her, that looks like the scene from the beginning where he parked his car, the overlook that the photo was taken on, and Mary's letter. In my restless dreams, I see that town, uh, Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday, but you never did. Well, I'm alone there now, in our special place. Waiting. Oh, yeah. So let me... A little hint, that's not the whole letter. <laughs> Small spoiler. Um, but there will be... Time will come when he will be able to see the full letter. Now, as I said, for this round of Silent Hill... Uh, streams like the whole series i'm going for all the canonical endings and then in subsequent streams we'll tackle the you know all the other endings. Ooh, here we go thank you for looking that way health the items haven't changed from the first game very little has changed, so people who have played the first game, from people who have played any of the first, any of the Silent Hill games will recognize the sound effects, the, uh, I think we have to touch it for it to stay on the map, pretty sure. Um, let's check. Yeah, so save points appear as those red squares, so it's easier to, to find them later. The aesthetics, the uh, the controls, the the physics, you know, it's pretty much the same. Especially since the second and third game used the same engine. As you can see, we've been here for over 20 minutes now. And uh, we haven't had an enemy still. Nothing's happening. Just reading stuff and moving. And I think that's where people who don't like games like this, they would fall off before even reaching this part. So that's good. I mean, for, you know, it's like Devil May Cry, you have that first, uh, Devil May Cry 3, you have that first boss that just like, if you like this, if, you, if you're okay with that, you'll like this game, if not, just stop playing it. Oh, here we go. Okay. I hope the, I set the mic good so it's not doing that. Are you blind, James? Left of you? Now the symbolism for these monsters 
I mean, all monsters is Silent Hill 2 and 3, I'm gonna say 2. Uh, it's amazing. This one's called The Lying Figure, I think. Come on, James, rip it out. Okay, this is where, if I remember this. Ah! Don't spray me. Ah! Come on, James. Yeah. Okay. Pocket with stick, yeah. That's a pro, ladies and gentlemen. That's a pro. You think? I mean, what gave it away? Was it the sewed arms? Was it the uh, the shriek? Was it the reaction to the radio? So, yeah, let's get this part over, so I'll talk about that. Oh, yeah. The thing I just found. This thing broken? take it anyway I might need it yeah just ignore the voice that suspiciously sounds like your late wife from the radio that's that's a good idea I mean it's broken probably. oh the blood trails yes oh, they're gone. so this is one of the games that you can only play with the DualShock 2 controller because this is really smart I like how Konami Konami was one of the companies to utilize these things a lot. You can see in the Metal Gear saw it as well. So when you hold L2 to aim, I don't know if I can, whoop, and then if you tap the, if you lightly press the button, he'll do that. But if you press it hard, because remember PS2 buttons are all analog, if you press it real hard, he'll do that. So it's pressure sensitive. Uh, in on later consoles, they would do that that you would tap quickly to swing and hold it to I mean to swing horizontally you do this and you would hold it uh, you would hold it to do the you know the overhead swing but I like this like pressure sensitive like use utilizing you know the the function of the controller so you can always the, depending on the situation if you grip it harder he will hit harder that's genius that's amazing okay we're not safe anymore the town is gonna be crawling with those guys now so, where are we going first, James? We are going... Oh yeah, we have to go get to Rosewater. So I'm just gonna go straight for there. Like, I don't know what's going on. There's gonna be a lot of clues and... Oh, there they are. Just ignore them. So, the trick is... Don't fight. Come on, take it. Whatever's happening, especially with these slow guys in the beginning, yeah, just don't fight them. Ignore them completely. They're slow when they're on their legs. If they fall down, if you tip them over, they become a little more dangerous in terms of speed because they will crawl on their, like, I don't even know how to explain it. They'll kind of crawl, rush themselves on their face. It's disgusting and sounds disgusting. So it's best just to leave them alone and just keep moving. They can't, they're so much, you know less dangerous than the, the the air streamers in the first game they will be replaced by different enemies later but the trick in Sun Hill is yeah just don't 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 fight don't wait I should find something somewhere oh yeah okay let's go to the end of this of Sandy Street just, you know, in, in enclosed space, you will want to fight enemies, especially if you're, you know, backtracking somewhere, you want that area clear. But in the streets, most of the time, they're just, they're, they're not that scary once you know, like, their speed limitations and that you actually have to go in their face for them to hurt you. So these lying figures have two attacks. It's the acid spray that they did, like, the first one there. And they also can, like, punch you, I'm going to say, with their heads. They're, they would be dangerous in close space, uh, especially if there's, you know, if they surround you. Multiple lying figures, but on their own, they just, 
ridiculous. Oh yeah, and this. This is what started in Silent Hill 2. So it's closed off, but it kind of also looks like the, uh, like a padded cell wall, I don't know. I don't think I have to go here. Yeah, that's where I came from. So just go to Sanders Street. They're moved because I can't see behind them. Oh, there you go. There's more of them, so... Yeah. The radio is really good for tipping you, you know, off to the, their location. Just use that, listen to the radio, rest when it's quiet, because you will need to run faster sometimes. You'll be fine. Especially with a plank in your hand. <laughs> like, the first game starts with the the, the pistol, the knife, the... Uh, the the what was it, metal pipe the second game starts with a wooden plank fuck him up <laughs> no fucks given hello sir but it's just like oh it's a uh, it's an alley it's just like the third game has an insane number of Difficulty settings, so it only it's it's the poorest Silent Hill game in terms in terms of endings. Now I'm talking about Silent Hill 3, but the richest in terms of difficulty because there's like easy, normal, hard. I think very hard, and then it goes extreme. And extreme difficulties, there's ten of them. So when you clear one, the other one is the, the next one's unlocked. And it's just ridiculous. I never did it actually. I think I got to extreme one. I was like, why? <laughs> why would I do this? There is a reason. Uh, the third game is also full of cosmetics. The main character can dress a lot. I don't think James can dress at all. At all. So people do it for that reason, but it comes to the point when you're... As someone once said when I explained that to them, <laughs> the concept of 10 extra hard difficulty settings. Uh, they were like, so what's the final one? A limbless crawling with a spoon for, as a weapon in your... Mouth. like yeah something like that that that's actually a good description of what it is I think we need to be here yet oh yeah the trailer I'll wait at bar Neely's okay we'll check bar Neely's he will mark it on the map I love that Wait, this is Neely's bar. That's not the same thing. <laughs> Nothing here, no supplies, just a save point. You're just touching them to mark them on the map. Hello, world! Now, if I try to go here, it'll be locked. And this apartment building will seems accessible uh, another. Wait, wait a minute oh yeah that's not here never mind very scary I don't know what's scarier their speed or Neely's can shoes, okay? I could use a new pair of shoes, but that's not why I'm here. Wait, is that L? Just something on the floor. Gozo Sushi. Oh, there's a health. Yep, there's a health. Get it, James. First aid kits all around. So, Sun Hill 2 is, to me, a lot easier than the than the first game. A lot easier to maneuver, easier to to do everything. Can I enter here? Was it here or was it here? I think. Yeah, one of the iconic locations is here. Yep. Oh, I still don't have a lamp. That's right. There's a map here. Somebody left. Perfectly good. Of course, bloody map, but still. So it shows right away, it kind of tells you where you can go, where you cannot. But there's a question mark there in Martin Street, where we're going to go. 
I'm gonna copy it onto my own map. Oh, he already like copied all the roads you can and can't go to. And Woodside apart. Okay, this is optional. You can just go straight to Woodside. You can go just the the question mark is the key. It just goes go straight there. But it's not as fun. It's not you know especially since I like doing these story runs. Uh, I'd like to cover as most as, po as, as possible. Yeah, there was a hole here. It's gone now. Now I talked about this in the Resident Evil Three stream when Carlos looks at the just blown up uh, raccoon hospital and goes, "There was a hospital here. <laughs> it's gone now." It's, it was funny there. It's he sad here. Now this message will change. I'm still not gonna. Actually, I'm gonna say. So. There's a big concept of holes in Silent Hill 2, and one of the, I think it was, it was from the Book of Lost Memories or something like that from the creators, uh, where one concept of the holes, one uh, side of that is holes that people carry in their hearts, and this is alluding to that, but the message is going to change later, we'll be back here later just to like check it out, because it's another thing that you don't have to do, but it really... Uh, brings a lot to this story. Oh, what's this? Oh, yeah. Forgot there was one here. So if you pay attention, you might see that he's just, 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 just like James. Health? No. There's nothing beside him. I don't remember that guy here, but yeah. What was it in Silent Hill 1? We had like, we were missing like six items out of 200. And that's because I was lazy to. Well, not lazy, I didn't want to just poke at each and every corner. Um, like to drag on the stream. But here it's a lot easier. So we can get done with this. I'm pretty sure we can do a good chunk of Woodside Apartments in the first session as well. Not gonna go there yet. Actually, I'm gonna go from the left. No, why not? Let's watch this right side for supplies now. I wanna collect everything I can. Again, like in the first game, I wanna do it before the night comes. Oh, there we go. That sound. Remember when I talked about those guys being harder when they fall down? That's what I was talking about. Okay, yeah, he got up on his own. Thanks, dude. No, step on him. Step on him. Uh, there we go. Okay. Phone. Nothing. Another one? What's up with the crawlers today? Oh my god, that guy's there. Okay. Just fuck him. There's another one. They're still walking, right? Yeah, I gotta take care of them if I wanna read that. Because James reads a lot of things on the fly. Oh, wait, they're actually not heading my way. There's nothing to attract them. I saw those demons. They were there, I'm certain. But my friend says he didn't see anything. If that's true, what does that does that mean? That what I saw was an illusion, but whether that demon that ate human beings was real, or whether it was just some kind of hallucination that my mind dreamt up, one thing I know for sure is that I'm beyond all hope. The first one. Maybe the first one. I'll just read while you guys approach. Yeah, he's gonna write down everything he's learned so far. Blah 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 blah. Spray. All right. Thank God for their short range, sir. No spraying in the streets. That he's dead. Okay, now we can read in peace. 
because it's day zombie yeah i was also surprised like was this game this bright yeah yeah it was <laughs> I checked with the brightness settings and everything in this uh, before stream. I even compared it to like the the outbreak output because I calibrated outbreak games for perfect like brightness and yeah. <laughs> Seems that they they're attracted to light. That's why people who need light to see are their natural prey. That's all. They also react stronger to sound. If you want to go on living, you'd better be off just sitting in the dark and staying quiet. But even that probably won't see. you're going to try to fight them, the most important thing is to relax. It's dangerous to fire a gun while you're all crazy with fear. Take good aim and then squeeze the trigger. And don't forget to finish them off. I think most of those creatures can be killed even if they are tougher than people. So this is, this guy is like... Run away. <laughs> it gets better. And the last one is... Run away, run away, run away, run away! Yeah. And as I mentioned, I probably did, but let's mention again he's also dressed like james though you can't see his face and it looks mutilated hints nothing here so this is again you could totally miss this i missed a lot of things in my first run I, uh, the the monument i read i didn't find it the, the first thing i read uh, this run i didn't find it till like my third or fourth playthrough when I became more courageous and just started exploring more of the game. Uh, where I realized, you, you know... Because just like with Resident Evil, I used to play this by kill everything. Like, whatever's there, kill it so you can explore freely. But... Ooh, what are you looking at? Oh, there it is. I wouldn't have even seen it if it weren't for his... Uh, closed? Okay. But now, you know, it's not, there's no reason to waste ammo, so, and it, you know, waste time on them. Oh, there are creepers here, I didn't know that. I know I could hear them, but I never saw them. This is the, like, this is my 50th fucking playthrough of this game, and I had never seen that creeper. Come back here, little bitch. Yeah. Wait, I need to step on you, not the other way around. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> One of these days should. Goodbye, sir. It's locked. The door that wakes in darkness, opening into nightmares. Well, that just sounds encouraging, James. Yeah, go through that door. <laughs> Come here. Oh my God, he's guarded by those assholes. Like, like they're in cahoots or something. Okay. Creeper, creeper. I think they're called creepers in this game. Could be totally wrong. They make that annoying chalkboard sound. Yeah, I'll never do it with it. <laughs> like he's in, the, in another town by the time James just swings this thing. Wow. That did scare me. Even though I know they can do that, that sound is never pleasant. <laughs> okay, we've been there. Now we've... I think we've been through everything but Martin Street. Yeah. So let's go there. Hopefully I got all the supplies there are here. But I got plenty now. Like I said, I find this game a lot easier. A lot easier to evade combat. A lot easier to survive. If I die, it's my usual. Uh, didn't want to heal. But for the ending I'm going for, uh, the canonical one, that's one of the things that you want to do. You don't want to heal. Things you examine. Things you do. Ooh, fresh meats. Uh, a lot of things uh, how you behave towards others and yourself it all affects the ending so I'm gonna go for a certain ending and I have to do certain things and like, play in a certain way oh wait turn the left no behind left left okay. in order to get to trigger a certain ending and there because this is psychological horror this is this is where Silent Hill went more into psychological in the first game. Because first one, I think it's more on, mostly an homage to Carrie. Uh, who was that? Kubrick or... or I forgot who, who, who directed Carrie. One of the big ones. But, you know, with the girl with special powers, her mom is mean to her, all that stuff. That's, that's pretty clear. Well, the second game takes a lot from movie 
Jacob's Ladder. A lot of details, story elements. Nothing here? No. And it becomes way more psychological than the first game. Oh my god, guys, is there a convention in town? Yep. I mean, there is. But yeah, you don't have to be so adamant about it. That's not help. Okay, I think we're done with the town. We can get into the apartments now. Just go for the key. More creepers. Lovely. Oh, help. Are you following me, sir, in a dark alley? That's illegal, you know. Oh, what was that? It's like sprung into existence. Holy shit. So I kept ranting about how the first game is detailed and I really wonder how they managed to do some like detailed graphics and 240 pixels <laughs> high screen. But this one just this is a huge jump. This is this is I think a lot of people used it and I saw it that way like as how much better PlayStation 2 was better than PlayStation 1. Because this was this came out Oh there's help. Okay, I thought it was a park. This came out at the dawn of the PS2 and it, you know it shows right away. For anyone who owned the PS1 and saw this, they were like, fuck it. I got nothing. What I have is not worth it. And then, top it off, PS2 was perfectly capable. The, the fat model, the, you know, my favorites, I have a couple of fats. They all, oh, he's hiding there. Okay, if you're gonna, you're gonna bug me like that, you gotta pay the rent, man. <clears throat> kick him, kick him, kick him, kick him. Oh no, he's gonna kick me. Yeah, I'm holding down, but this isn't outbreak. There's no reason to hold down. It just adds an extra second of animation. Okay. So see, also what what I was when I was showing the uh, first person camera in Silent Hill One, I talked about this. So, but if all a lot of times you'll be walking like this, like what the shit is this? It's not a <laughs> it's not a fixed camera, but still I can't see anything. So I turn it around. Okay, where we're supposed to? We're where we we're supposed to. Look at this guy, he's also suspiciously dressed like me. Not gonna comment on a... Yeah, he never comments on them. And I say them, by this point you're aware there's gonna be more of them. Apartment gate key, old looking key that I found in town. Examine. Wood side apartment. I always read it as wood boat apartment for some reason. <laughs> the writing. We will check those. You can adjust the volume of the radio <laughs> or turn it off. We don't have much for now, so let's keep moving. Yeah, zombie, I deleted those old saves. I don't know if you were there when we started because I didn't want the altered intro to spoil the game. And also, since we started Silent Hill 1 fresh without the new game plus, I'm gonna do that with all of them. So I'm gonna start like from scratch. Maybe Origins. Not, I, I'll check if anything changes with that one. But the first four games, definitely. Stop, in the name of the law. Up, ah, James, you're bigger, for fuck's sake. Oh yeah, you don't have to hold down. I keep holding down because of outbreak, and he does that. And instead, I could just do this. A lot faster. Because <laughs> holding down, when you aim, is like walking back cautiously here. Wait, where am I? Yeah, thanks for the vodka of confidence, Zom. Did I turn around? No, I'm in the right place. Okay. Woodbow Apartments, here we go. My god, these guys love the cars. Step away, sir. I'm just trying to pass. James is tired. Goodbye. Fortunately for me, gates are magically here. <laughs> They're gone. So remember the first game, I was like, oh, 
you can actually hurt them through the gate they're they're counted as in the same room yeah it's not at least in this section it's not like that so playing this after the after the first game again because i thought i missed it no use for that for now uh, it was kind of disappointing my what a yard where do we enter first though i think it's it's the other side yeah but no items here no yeah there's nothing here for now we're gonna be a key item later but we gotta solve a puzzle uh that'll end up in that garbage chute so let's just get into the apartment yeah so zombie you might have because you were watching the suffering stream as well you will notice that ps2 games are not as blurry so i'm very i feel very bad that suffering was so blurry because i used interlaced but this capture card is actually capable of converting it into progressive signal or like full image instead of interlaced and uh it really shows on the stream it looks so sharp and nice wood bow department okay a lot of wasted space there but what can i say i'm not an architect now the Apartments, the interiors, and possibly exteriors were modeled after New York City's apartments, which people who have been there or just interested in that architecture will realize. Oh, that's very nice of you to leave health like that unprotected. Mm -hmm. Let's go up, 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 and away. See, if it were any darker, we couldn't see here. What the hell is going on with the shadows there? That's not normal. I'm just saying how the Xbox 360 version bugs. Oh, I was probably stepped in a certain way. Uh, how the Xbox 360 version was fucked up compared to this one. Now, unlike in the first game here, first, it's too dark to read the map, right? You need to be under the light to open the map. So anywhere your shadow will tell you, if you cast a shadow, you're under light, right? Which makes sense. But not just that. Wait, where is the door? Did I miss it? There's the guy there. Okay, let's go back. We still don't have a flashlight, so we're not gonna running will probably uh, disturb them, I think. Walk. All right, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it, Melvin. Melvin Zaman. Huh. That door was walled off. Well, let's not make too much noise because I want to get the jump on it. By hiding in the laundry room. <laughs> There's a trash chute, but it's gone now. No, it's still there. There's some kind of strange garbage stuck in the hole. Okay, man, that's just like keep it for yourself. Jesus. Let's go straight. Where is that guy? He's not left. So claustrophobic. Another walled up door. Oh, there's two of them. Maybe I just do this. Since I have a lot of health. I shouldn't care too much. I go away. Actually, kick him. Ah! He's faster. Well, let's try the light swing. What will that do? No, no, no. I actually go with the hard swing. Oh, you can select the tra target mid swing. That's perfect. No, no, still. Yeah, James is not dead. Kick him, kick him while he's down. Okay, that one's bleeding. He's done. And the other one? Very nice. It just got sprayed once. This is one of the better runs. Yeah, use cabin kick. <laughs> I'd love that zombie, trust me. Ooh, is this? Here we are. So this is where the game starts for me, when we get the flashlight. And take a look at the dress. So you might have noticed in the intro there was a woman wearing this dress. Identical. Yeah, this is a better example. Aside from being modeled after who wore this? I think it was yeah from the 
Oh shit! And these guys now, okay. Need some space. No, hard swing. Ow! I can hit too, you know. These are mannequin legs. Which is obvious. So... It's... A mannequin body without a head, just like more legs on top. Shit. Yeah, zombie, we're trying not to spoil it for people who <laughs> didn't play the game. But yeah, Mary wore that get dress. It was a model after the dress from what movie was it? Luckily, they came from a mannequin. Doesn't mean anything in this universe, James, as you can see. I mean, whether they're human or mannequin legs, it's just all the same. They can turn against you. There's nothing that looks to be of use. Uh, no, the door is locked. But we got a flashlight now, which is our best friend and worst enemy. So, avoiding fights, as I said in the first game, it's like, you know, it doesn't work as well, at least for me. But in second and third, you just do this and pass it. <laughs> they won't know there you're there. Just don't run, be quiet, turn off the light, and you can pass most of them. Okay, there's nothing else in this apartment. Just a mannequin, but these clothes. So he's not commenting on it, but you could have seen it in the intro, yeah. And what was I saying? What was the movie they were modeled after? Uh, Con Air with uh, Nicolas Cage, yeah. His wife wore almost exactly the same dress. Okay. I was faster. As you can see, they can get up and will after you do certain things. Oh, you asshole. All you had to do was die. I have to press that button hard if I want him to hit overhead, otherwise he's just gonna swing around. Uh. Yeah! <laughs> Step and then twist, James, to make sure he doesn't get up again. So yeah, it's uh, the same dress that Nicolas Cage's wife wore in, uh, in Con Air, or like, her character. You saw that at the end of the portal, right? Oh shit, check the portal. Wait, I didn't check my health for- holy shit! Yeah, I do want this. I do wanna take less care of myself for the ending I'm hunting, but yeah, I'm okay. Four first aid kits and seven of these already, so I can just, just to avoid some death. Even though when you die here, I'm pretty sure it brings you to the left. Wow, nice iframes, bitch. Oh, he's dead. Wow, that was easy. Handgun bullets, more of them. Oh, shit! I knew he was gonna be there and he still scared me. Uh. He's dead, Jim. Wow, okay. That one gets the jump on me most of the time. I mean, scares the shit out of me. Newspapers, there's nothing interesting, okay? Toilet, nothing interesting. Interesting. Now, the horror of Sand Hill 2, and in slightly in 3 as well, but I feel that in 2. Like, the first game was bloody and gory, and the addition to being, you know, scary in the way Sun Hill games are scary but another thing is that the first wait is this where I came from? Oh, this is another bathroom how can you have two bath? these are two apartments aren't they? Uh, there's none of them you, there is some but it's not the focus a lot of even when scary stuff happens you don't see someone like the game it's you don't see things it's kinda like a PG rated movie or something but that's part of its scare, is because I think our imagination can be a lot worse than anything uh, developers could have shown on screen. And we'll see it soon. You can judge for yourself. Uh, zombie, let me know if the how's the game volume compared to my voice, if I need to boost it up a bit more. Because sound is really important here, but it's still, it shouldn't be... It should still be low enough that I can... Then I can be heard over it. Because it's me, 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 important, me. Okay, there's nothing here in this apartment. James, you pillaged it fully. Oh, this goes on and on. Okay, a few more apartments. Rest, boy, you earned it. For now, we're just still gonna run with the plank. I think. There's no pipe in this one, right? 
so the mannequin legs aren't gonna move but these guys are he's up again how dare you sir how many times do I have to kill you iframes come on if I do this right yeah just obey my plank motherfucker oh how dare you the audacity come back here Oh, they always do that. As soon as you catch up to them, they're like, Haha, fuck you. You might get up, which would make it easier to kill. Ah! Oh. No, 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 no. Come on. He's trying to... Yeah, nice one. Don't go... Yeah. Fuck you. Don't get up. Stay down. <laughs> what a guy. Okay, let's take care of the mannequin legs. So... They're static until you approach them or shine light on them. So I don't know what's their range. I know when you have the light on, they will come to life a lot sooner. But they will come to life swinging for me. So what I want to do is oh, get in range and just start wet. Oh. Are you taking damage? Down. Okay. Phew. Lock's broken. Turn the light back on. Lock's broken. So that was pointless. Just to like get me to use my whoa. My plank. Oh. Very nice textures. Like they look so good. And clean for their age. Okay, let's go into the tunnel of that. Okay, rest, James. I see he needs it, so... Because I'm pretty sure you take more damage if he's uh, fatigued. Nope. Oh, can I do anything here now? Not now. Yeah, okay, I know what's gonna be there. I remember. This the room? Oh, no. This is a room. One of the big ones, but not the big one. This note, it must be from the person who lived here. Our first puzzle! I think this is our first puzzle in the game. Three needles stand of three different heights. The fat, the tall, and the thin. From slow to fast, they move to the right. Scott rests not on three, but fifteen. And that's it. Wow, what a song. <laughs> so yeah, he's talking about... The clock hands. Wait, shouldn't there be? I think on on hard puzzle level, there's more to this. Or maybe there's more of the song. I remember the song being longer, but that's the thing. So the puzzles will change with puzzle difficulty. Newspaper, very old. TV, nothing unusual about it. This wallpaper also screams like 70s, right? More than 90s. Is it here? I think it is. Lock's broken, okay. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, just like the, that was the hint to tell you. So it's pretty straightforward here. It's like normal puzzle level. That we're gonna do when we switch to hard difficulty, we're gonna switch to hard puzzle level. And there's only one puzzle in the Silent Hill 2 and 3 where you can do this. I don't know if you can, I don't think you can do it in any others. As far as I remember, just 2 and 3 let you choose puzzle uh, difficulty separate from action difficulty. And people who have played Silent Hill 3 will know the fucking Shakespeare puzzle. You gotta be a Shakespeare. You gotta, gotta have all that in your head to solve that one. If you're solving it. If you're just like doing it from, you know, memory, it's different. So, our minute second, okay? Henry Mildred Scott. I'm pretty sure the song, the poem is lengthier than his writing on the clock. The scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Will it push the clock? Sure. Uh, stuck to the ground, on the ground. Where I kicked them down. Uh, 
3.06 and 15 seconds. So we gotta find the clock key. You could just smash it because it's glass, but okay. <laughs> Still a good puzzle. I mean, it's on hill. I wouldn't be surprised if it was like bulletproof glass. Let's go to the next floor. Not there, but... Have I checked all the rooms here now? Let's see. Yep, all of them. Okay. Third floor. Well, by American standards. By our standards, it would be like the second floor. Because we have ground floor, first floor, second floor. But I'm so used to, when speaking in English, uh, to count them differently. And because of all these games that. Oh, here we go. There's a key. Ready? Alright, I wanted to talk about the monsters a bit, so yeah, I can get to the key. Who is that kid? We'll find out. Um, the monster symbolism. So the first two we've seen, the lying figure, symbolizes, you know, because he's there sewn into their own Wait, is that it? We can't, yeah, for now we can't go anywhere else in the third floor, that's right. Symbolizes, <laughs> I knew you were gonna say it, I was just waiting for that zombie. <laughs> uh, wait, I think here, yet? Is this where the scene's gonna be? No. Oh, okay, this is where we find our first weapon. So, if we exp try the walls, it's pockmarked with guns, gunshots, so... Somebody shot a lot of bullets here, and so this part has nothing to do with James. Yeah, let's start with that. So symbolism. Shopping cart. What is he doing here? Just take the pistol. The lying figure basically symbolizes internal pain, or maybe even internalized pain. Uh, being sewn like its hands are sewn into its chest, kinda. I'll just say that for now, and uh, the mannequin legs, just, are they called mannequin? I think, I'm pretty sure they're called mannequin legs. Uh, you can see that it's like female legs attached to more female legs. Expresses James, uh, James's sexual frustration. And... That's what I, when I started this episode, that's what I said. Wait, I found the gun, but what else? There must be something else. What am I missing? I've been there, I didn't find the key. Two or one, oh, but it's walled in. There's nothing there. What did I miss? I don't know, I'll just go down there. I know this part is like always, oh, what did I miss? Yeah, we can't go to the first floor yet from there. That's locked. That's locked. East, north, west is locked. And on this floor, yeah, that's all we can go for now. So we got to get to the eastern stairwell in order to climb up. Uh... As this, like, this is where the game starts showing how, it's the series starts showing how the town affects individuals. Everything we see, we, everything we saw so far, so far, was James's, uh, wait, did they pick up a key of sorts? No, no I did not. 
everything is his own internal like the oh there we go north of here <laughs> you could have said to the left but okay so let's go north of here there he is for now you're just gonna stand there lucky for us but you can hear the radio's gone wild you recognize this guy even if you ha haven't played Sun Hill everybody knows about Pyramid Head his first appearance in the series Behind bars, just like staring at you. Bro, got some aspirin? I was drunk last night and, well, things got out of control. <laughs> okay, scary guy, I'll see you later. And how he... So he was called... Originally he was called the Red Pyramid thing. Because it's quite obvious why. He's red and pyramidy. And even in, in the dark he, like, glows. Uh, red. As you can see, as soon as I shine light on him, he has, like, his normal color. When I turn away, he will glow red. Actually, it's good like this. Yeah. But there's no... Actually, is there zoom here? Oh, there was a second here. I don't want to heal right now, so I don't want to press the wrong stick. Okay, there's the TV. Remember this TV? Remember that chair? It wasn't here. And there certainly wasn't this guy in it. But still no reaction to how this guy just looks almost <laughs> like my twin. He's dead, Jim. Who could have done this? I don't know, maybe the big pyramid-shaped guy outside the door? He, was, he kinda looks suspicious to me. But, you know, James, it's your game, so you decide. 202. Okay, we need to get to room 202. And the map says that is... I said map says... 202 is... Oh, the locked one. Near the, okay, that's easy. Kind of hurts, so I will want to heal at some point. Not yet, though. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. You no, know, I was just thinking about it when I was preparing for this stream. Uh, I don't think I don't I don't know how that would pass today, a scene like that, because of what it shows. But it's I guess because it's symbolism. I think this is it, right? No, actually, it's gonna be in another room. Yeah. Oh God. It's on. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's one of the basiest sounds I've ever heard. Nothing inside a cage. When we get to uh, the other part of the room, it's going to get more intense. For now, let's check this part. Nothing here. Lock broken. You can see moths are swarming me. The lens flare. So, a lot of people probably don't know this but there was a time I don't think it's a feature now there was a time I remember 2008 9 10 if you if you type the Konami code on any Facebook page so facebook.com like your profile homepage whatever if you type the Konami code up up down down left right left right BA you would get a brief lens flare and it a lot of people including myself thought it's like because of Silent Hill Konami code is applied. I, I know what it does in Silent Hill 3, makes one of the main characters, the main non-playable supporting characters, go around in boxers the entire game, which just makes it ridiculous. I don't know what it does in this one, but yeah, I know on Facebook.com you could input it and get this lens flare, just like flashes on your screen. And a couple of other, other sites used it. Of course, you know, in addition to all the games, it uses mods. Will you please calm down? Okay, it's time. Check the moth. Or butterfly. The body of a dead butterfly is on the ground. There's nothing else of interest here. I mean, that's as if that's not interesting in itself. See how the music changes? So it's the same song, so to say. But the other sound continues. This is the game. So Zelda already, Zelda and Resident Evil already gave me some magnificent uh, soundtracks and amazing uh, compositions 
but this is where I got oh my god you can do that and it wouldn't it works in a game because in a movie if it does that it does that every time but here it's a big deal because whenever I choose to enter or exit that sound will add itself and the closer you get to the hole the more intense it gets sprayed with something green okay, let's let's reach her let's reach into the hole it's too dark to tell for sure but I think there's something on the other side of the hole will you investigate what other options do I have and there's green goo glow, uh, flowing from it Clock key, okay. Oh, you can do it again? Yeah, you can actually. He went to the bottom of that hole. That's the simplest one in the game. Like I said, holes are a big thing in this game. The, the butterflies just won't leave me for that. Exit, okay. Check the key. There's a small clock at the end of the key. It was in a hole in the wall in room 202. Now that I think of it, there was a big clock in room 208. Okay, Jimmy boy. Let's go to 208. Oh, there we are. Hello, clock, meet key. Or maybe it's one of those that he doesn't want to, yeah. Okay, for some doors he'll be like, unlock with that key. But for this, you gotta go use because it's a mystery. So what was it again? Hold on for now. Oh my god, the sound design, the squeaking, the everything. What was it? Henry Miller Scott, so like just past nine, I'm gonna say nine ten. Nine ten, yeah. Or ten ten, one of those. I just left right, okay. Ten ten, yeah, it's gonna be ten ten. Or nine ten? Yeah, nine ten. I was right. <laughs> okay. And now push the clock. Scars from the past shall remove the nail that stops time. Jeez. Let's go through the wall. Welcome, new room. I mean, welcome me, new room. Oh, what an empty room. Is there nothing here? Doors? Broken. Doors? Broken. Okay. Doors? Okay. Nothing. Oh, a health point. A health drink. Excellent. There's a save point. And, oh yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, it's coming, zombie. Very soon. So that key should be, oh no, wait, this is where Mr. Pyramid Head was standing, okay? That's the next floor. No, don't be friendly, camera, at all. <laughs> uh, let's start from the first floor again. Why? Because we can. Oh, there should be a map somewhere here and one of the stairs. Oh no, wait, that's the other way. I mixed it up. Mix them up. And this is just to unlock it. Oh wait, it's locked. It's completely locked. And that's to get to yeah, we can go all the way back to entrance this way. 
this here is like the courtyard with a pool we'll end up there later so for now let's go explore the third floor on this side and I think that's where we'll get the key for this where are you looking at? oh ammunition sure Hello world, it is me, James. Gonna be more of those assholes, but I should be okay. I even have a pistol now, so now that's okay. I think this is it, zombie? Yep. Okay, now you're just doing it remotely, dude. That's not even... <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So it's kind of awkward. But you know what it's supposed to represent, right? This is not the <laughs> closet you're hiding in. <laughs> so how does James solve this problem? Like the same person would, honestly. Fuck you! Suppressive fire! Ha! <laughs> He's like, hey, hey, I showed you, motherfucker. Yeah, that's scary as shit. And it's always, it was always awkward to me that Pyramid had just like eight, what, ten bullets from him? Five at least? And he didn't react to that. We have a key here, courtyard key, we're gonna need that. Shh. Landscape of this area. Yeah, I should have uh, observed more of the images. Damn, he fucked them so hard, they're not even moving. It's hard to say... Yeah. They're not even... He's James is not even reacting to them, not, e not even looking there. Holy hell. Okay, don't want to fuck with that guy, literally, or... Figuratively. Just stay away from him, James. Wait, he just left here and you guys are still walking. Ah, he was about to spit. No, you don't. Stop it. Oh, holy shit. Just quit it. <laughs> I mean, A for effort, man. A for effort. Just pass him while he spits, and then do this. Ah, oh, fucker. Kick him while he's down. As I said, so much easier than uh, battling in, in the first game. Okay, let's go right first. Because that's where the key was. Huh? Yeah, he's zooming in there. God forbid you turn your... Okay, there we go. There it is. So she kicked it away, but didn't bring it with her. Okay, we're done with the first building, essentially. Well, not yet. We still gotta meet... We still gotta meet our buddy, our pal. This garbage chute is interesting because it's not part of the puzzle. But these laundry rooms are amazing. I heard that these are a thing in the... Well, in US, definitely. I'm not sure if... Probably somewhere else in Europe. I'm not sure. I don't know if they're a thing in uh, Poland there, zombie. But we don't have, like, shared common laundry rooms. Everybody has their own washing machine. Rarely anyone has a dryer, and this is like just for the whole floor, just 
do your laundry. It's, sounds sounds amazing. I don't know if people are able to do that. Yeah, there's nothing. There's always something of interest around the washing machine, James. For one, you gotta be grateful. All the time they saved, like just per person, not to talk about like humanity as a whole. Number two, they're fun to look at. Number three, uh, health train. There's one. Okay, let's shoot this guy. I don't want to get sprayed in the face. And I already have like what, what 50 bullets, so we'll be okay. I'm gonna kick him because this is a lot faster. Yeah, you actually kick, kill him a lot faster this way. Now I'll try this, so let's see what it'll do. Yeah, that's because I'm curious. Will it reload my gun? It's probably gonna heal me, but let's see. Because the right stick click should be, I know in this third game you could choose it to be reload, but I'm not sure here. Click, and let's see what happened. Nothing happened. What? It should be like restored, right? If I remember the button configuration. And I believe I do. Let's see, R3 is restored. Yeah, I'd never forget that because it was... It wasn't a thing in this kind. these games you can reload on the fly or heal yourself. I'll do it once more to see. Pop. Nope. Maybe he does it when he's in very bad shape, but he's definitely not reloading his gun. But fuck it, I'm gonna clip the stick anyway. I'm gonna have a ton of health here, especially since for the ending I'm chasing. Uh, I'm not supposed to heal much. I'm supposed to not, not take care of myself. What is that on the card? Looks like a knife. But you can't zoom in here, so. What was L3 then? It's nothing, right? There's no reload. It's too bad, because you can um, you can actually configure. You have preset config, but you can map the buttons any way you want. There was. Not many console games had that back in the day, trust me. But still, there's no reload button. Again, like I said in the third game, you can whatever you equip to the restore button, it does. So if you equip ammo, any ammo, like you can just equip ammo of the gun you're carrying. Um, anytime you change a gun, wait, is there someone there? Every time you equip another weapon, you know the protagonist is gonna automatically equip the appropriate ammo for quick reload. But you can also equip health. And just like e any type of health you want, a health drink, an ampule, a med kit, and just heal with a click. Which I don't like because I like to see how much I've healed and my status, not just randomly press the heal button. So I always go for the reload thing. I'm not gonna comment on the picture. I'm gonna comment on the phone maybe. It doesn't seem to work. Okay. I know I found some additional dialogue, like monologue even, uh, in my subsequent playthroughs. Subsequent, actually, even. Was this another stairwell? Oh, there we go, the east stairwell. Okay. So, from here, because we've seen all of floor three, two. Okay, yeah. Yep. So that's going to be long, but this will take us to the east part of... Right, okay. You can check 10567. We should get, I think that's where I'll find the garbage puzzle thingy. And then we can proceed. Should be done with this building very soon. Let's board it off. Completely. Look at the lighting. Holy shit. It's unreal. Broken. I think yeah, I don't think you can enter any of these rooms, honestly. Just, just turn the oh, it's one of those places where you can turn the camera, really? Or 
All right. I don't think there's anything else here. If there's no health pack here in the lobby, oh yeah, whatever, I can just exit. There's nothing here. I'm not gonna check the mail. But we can unlock the second exit. Then let's do the the garbage puzzle. One James one. Does this also unlock... Does it unlock both sides? Uh, either way, let's... Wait, I already got the fire escape key? But that would mean... No, that can't be. I'll probably return, but I never did that, so... West side stairway to the courtyard. Okay, so I have to do it from the west side there. Yeah, that's here. Before we do that, let's use the thing for the puzzle, I think. And also, I didn't check this door. Not gonna open that yet. Just wanted to see. Yeah, that's the border door. He just didn't see it without a flashlight. When you do have a flashlight, though, it doesn't matter where you want to check the map. You can do it anywhere because. A man's got a flashlight, but if you turn it off, the rules reset to you gotta be under a light to do it. Any source of light will do. Okay. There's the garbage thingy. Uh, it's a six pack of sorry, of canned juice. It was in the hallway on the first floor. What do you do? Just trip trash. <laughs> the way he just goes. <laughs> Yeah, let's go get that. Uh, here. Outside where the trash chute was. There we go. It's gonna be something interesting here. That's. A prelude to Silent Hill 4, actually, so far away. Not a lot of people say that contents are strewn all over. Got a coin, old man. Okay. A lot of people say, you know, that <sighs> heard very bad things about Silent Hill 4, though I heard good things. My opinion is it's a very good horror game. I'm glad it changed something, but it's still it's still it stayed Silent Hill. It gave us something new, something fresh. And there's a debate whether they planned it or just like pull it out of their ass with this file, but yeah, this is very important for Silent Hill 4. So two games ahead. The police announced today that Walter Sullivan, who was arrested on the 18th of this month for the brutal murder of uh, Billy Locaine and his sister Miriam, committed suicide in his jail cell early on the morning of the 22nd. According to the police statement, Sullivan used a soup spoon to stab himself in the neck, so severing his carotid artery. God damn it. Carted artery. By the time the guard discovered him, Sullivan was dead from blood loss, the spoon buried two inches in his neck. An old schoolmate of Walter Sullivan's from his hometown of Pleasant River said, He didn't look like a type of guy who would kill kids, but I do remember that just before they arrested him, he was blurting out all sorts of strange stuff like, He's trying to kill me, he's trying to punish me, the monster, the red devil, forgive me, I did it, but it wasn't me. The schoolmate then added, I guess now that I think of it, he was kind of crazy. What a witness! <laughs> but yeah, this is big. Walter Sullivan is the main antagonist of Silent Hill 4. And the children they mentioned that he uh, murdered were... We'll see when you get there. It's They're one of the scariest enemies in all of Silent Hill games. Honestly. So yeah, I'm gonna go here now. Courtyard key. Out in the courtyard, we're gonna shoot or some lying figures. Oh my god, look at that. We're 
going to be all around that pool. Which side? That's where I entered? Okay, yeah. Gotta try to get them without killing myself, which will be hard, because... This is one of... a very dicky place to fight them. Whoa, did you fall, James? He fell. Clumsy, clumsy ass. Can we just wait for them here? You can't climb stairs, can you? Ah, you suck. Okay, time to whip out the pistol. Three bullets then stomp. If I do it fast enough, I won't have to kill him twice. And then run. Ha ha ha. Ashhole. Then ah, okay, get the other one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and you guy. Kick him. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. One of the better ways to end this area. I still got 40 bullets. We won't need them. Health is like halfway, but that's that's okay. I got a snake coin now. Okay. We're moving along. You can climb the ladder if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Nice pool though. Imagine like I can't imagine living in a building where we all have a shared pool. Like can't imagine living in a building that has a pool. Apartment building. That's not a thing here, but it would be really awesome. Standards of life, I guess. Okay, nothing else here, I think. Maybe something on this side, but I doubt there's gonna be anything. He would turn his head if there was something to pick up. Very detailed though, so there's no need for this to be here. It could be blocked off, but oh I don't know if that hurts him. It's pretty clumsy. And <laughs> just falls down. <laughs> yeah, he's clumsy, not the guy who's controlling him. <laughs> no. He the guy who's controlling him is top notch pro, like that. But this guy James, he's just so clumsy it's hard to control him. <laughs> What's here? What's that? Like a kiddie pool? Is that like a children's pool? I never thought about it. I think it is. What three? What's number three? Three feet deep, I guess. No bush. Fuck off. Okay, I came from the right, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So I want to go straight. But before that, let's see what's left. Okay, the other part of the building. Now we should meet someone here. Ooh. Before that other guy approaches. Yeah, that was excellent. Ooh. Hello, sir. Yeah. If you do it fast enough, like I did with that one, that was amazing. Uh, you can just not let them get up again. Uh, stay down. 101. Let's check that first. We should meet. So I'm going to say there's going to be two other people here with me. With their own nightmares and problems. And there's one of them. Okay, yeah, I was right. All right, everybody, meet the guy who was, is it here? Who was supposed to be modeled after Eddie Murphy. But then shit happened, I suppose. Broken. We checked the fridge. What the, who could have done this? So remember, there was a room pockmarked with bullets. That is not James's illusion. That's not like illusion. That's not town responding to James. There's this. And there was another dead guy in the chair. Do I dare enter? Yeah, I'll enter. He doesn't sound really well in there. Butt crack. <laughs> Remember the van from the beginning? I said it'll be important. It's his. I mean, it's not really important, but I'm trying to, like, get the more 
concise story. Hello to you too, sir. Do what? I didn't do anything. I, I swear. You are puking. That's something. It was like this when I got here. My uh, my name's James. James Sunderland. Um, Eddie. Hey, uh, who's that dead guy in the kitchen? I didn't do it. I swear I didn't kill anybody. Not suspicious at all. <laughs> You're not friends with that red pyramid. <laughs> Thing. I don't know what you're talking about. Honest. I did see some weird looking monsters. They scared the hell out of me. So I ran in here. Well, I guess this place isn't too safe either. What happened here anyway? Uh, I, I told you. I don't know. I'm not even from this town. I just. I just. You too, huh? Something just brought you here, right? Uh, um, yeah, you could say that. Well, whatever it is, I think you better get out of here soon. Yeah, you're right. What about you? I'll leave as soon as I'm done here. So confident, hey. all of a sudden. Be careful. Just leave him there. Yeah, he looks perfectly okay. Just like, let him puke his soul out. You be careful too. So yeah, that that's Eddie Dabrowski. Uh, he was supposed to be a lot. You know, he was supposed to be a cheerful guy, and uh, was named after Eddie Murphy, or so I've heard. I think even read in the yeah, I think I read that in the book of lost numbers as well, but character changed during development now it's not bad he's got a terrifying story to tell him and the woman we met at the graveyard uh, are you look no you can't do that that's not allowed you stay down stay down stay down oh oh my god there's two of them now yeah I'll have to heal now otherwise I'm dying Woo. Nope, 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 big nope. Four left. Kick him while he's down, then turn around. Reload your gun. My son, then equip a stick. Make it quick. Hello, sir. How's the sprain today? I see you're blind as always. Here's a stick. I said, here's a stick. Keep it. And stay down. Get off of my property. Asshole. Okay. I don't think they'll be back. This is the, the hardest stick ever. Just beat the shit out of 50... Well, Monsters and it's still not even bent. Oh, more of them, love them. Just one, okay, I can do this. Whoosh! While he's wriggling, sometimes they will do that wriggle and just give you a moment. Ah, oh, sh oh wait, that guy was easy. Some of them just have less health for some reason. I mean, that's... I like that. What I liked about Resident Evil as well. The RNG. Because no matter how much you prepared you are, you're not prepared. You're never fully prepared. Sightseeing brochure for the town is lying here. Pardon. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. 
Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor Roger Widmark. Oh well, Roger, you've never been to the fog side of Silent Hill, obviously. So it's important to mention that whatever I'm seeing, yeah, I hinted at it before, but it's it is important. Whatever I'm seeing, all of this, like even the environments, it's not real. So it is, but it's not. I'm here, but I'm not here. For other, for like pe other people in Silent Hill, life just continues. This all works. Remember the little girl who kicked the key? She doesn't see any of this. Eddie sees shit, but he says he didn't see Pyramid Head, just weird monsters. So he sees his own monsters. Angela obviously saw something because she was like, oh. when I approached her, she was like, oh, that's scary. Oh. But it's like you're in another dimension. And right now we're in the fog world. Which is, wait, isn't there more? Okay, there's going to be the staircase. Yeah, there's nothing else. And I should unlock this, and that should take me... So I met Eddie and got that. But that was... Was that optional? I kind of feel like I need another... Key. I can unlock it from that side now. But that's it. Okay. We've been to the third floor. Yeah, we can go to the other building. I'm pretty confident now. It doesn't matter. Wait, what was the deal with the, this? Then just... Yeah, I think this part is to hell. Really? You sure? Because... Oh. Okay. So, 30 playthroughs and, you know, people, uh, you know, people forget and people miss. I think I missed this. I'm so confident in my memory that I don't forget things. Definitely, like, everybody forgets, but... I don't remember that. There's nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. When there's something in the apartment, just let me check the map. I should be able, the outlines should tell me. Yeah, you can see like which rooms you can enter. Kinda? No. Because he adds, the rooms themselves are just these like rectangles, but he adds like the room lineup. No, what I want to say is layout. I'm just going to check 101 again. So. But I don't think I need anything else. Do I have three coins? I have snake. Pool with no water. We have old man. Trash chute exit. And I'm going to check that room again. Because I want to exit this. When I exit this side of the building, I don't want to go back. I just want to be done with it. Nothing there. It seems, yeah. Nothing else here. He doesn't turn his head toward anything. So that means there's no... Oh, wait. Oh, that's where Eddie was. Yeah. He's still there. You can actually interact with him. Nice. Eddie, are you okay? I came yeah, back to check on you. I guess. Nope. Eddie, He's gonna repeat. Are you okay? Okay. He's okay. Oh, right. There's this whole room. That's right. Meaningless graffiti, football posters, but it says, it says bar, beer, base, base blaze, base blast, beer, base blare. Yeah, I've rarely been here actually. Can you read that? No. Yeah, this is like another optional location. You gotta go back to it. Get base Blair, Blaze. Well, Houston's the water. Water margin? I don't know what this means. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I knew there was another room here. Okay, Eddie, I 
you're okay apparently, so I'll just leave you. Do your thing, man. I'll see you later. Anything with these for reading? No. Because a lot of times there's something on the floor, you can easily miss it. Hello, C. Nice to see you. How are you? Welcome to Silent Hill 2. Where people run like they're crapping their pants all the time. It's perfectly normal. <laughs> Thank you, Seaward. Holy shit. Yeah, we've been here. Nothing here. Barricaded, barricaded. I don't have to kill this guy. Fuck him. Fuck him! Just go up. Let's go to the other building. Thank you, Seaward. Your daily compliments are very nice to receive. Oh. Okay. Like in Silent Hill 3? Huh? <laughs> like in that room I showed you? So we go here, then all the way, and then right. Okay, yeah, we can do that. We're done with this part of the building, right? Oh, gotta go through the clock door. No. Nothing else left on. Uh, nice. Nothing left on the third floor. There's a save point. Fuck that. We don't need to save. Let's go through the hole in the wall. Yeah, this is the game where Pyramid Head debuted. What the hell is up with the music? Because of the TV? Yeah, the, the other me is still dead there. So creepy that he doesn't comment on the like all the corpses looking exactly like him. We had our first run in with uh, Pyramid Head a few minutes ago, see? But he was just like chilling there in the corner. But we are gonna have our first uh, quote unquote battle with him soon. As soon as I'm done with the. So I just need to jump into the other building. And I mean literally jump. I'm about to do it. Fire escape key. Okay. No fire escape. You think? <laughs> I mean, okay, fair enough. It's Silent Hill, so uh, you may you may end up in another town if you step through a door or a window. I understand that, but still, the way it says, I think I can get there. Like it's like there, not even a meter in front of you. Broken down bed, glass. I think this is where the legendary toilet is. Yes. So I mentioned already if. You finish on Hill 2, if you have a cleared so a save file with the finished game of Silent Hill 2 and you boot up Silent Hill 3, they need to be on the same memory card though. There will be various references to the second game, I think there's four of them, and one of them is to this scene. As any normal person would, yeah, sure. Yeah, give it a good tug. Like some kind of a wallet. Looks like a wallet. There's some kind of memo. Okay. Twelve, thirteen, two, three. Okay, right, left, right. So twelve. Thirteen, two, three. I'll memorize that. Good. You came to that conclusion. The next one. It's on Hill Three. She is probably so james started the tradition but she definitely has the, is she's the most the the character from main character of silent hill game with the most character i don't know how to explain she will comment on everything multiple times and she's gonna make a joke about this seed if i have the save from this game once i beat it so what was it well Wait, I forgot it already. Well, yeah, I gotta check it. <laughs> I already forgot the numbers. 12, 3, something, something. Memo. Oh my god, it's gonna be so far away. Swamp Monument. It's gonna be the last one. Okay. 
12, 13, 2, 3. Okay. 12, 13, 2, 3. So with Cheryl, she would be like, it's just a safe. I don't need a safe. But now that I think about it, if I put my stuff in the safe, it would be safe. She'll go on like that. And after a while, she just, you get to that final comment. I love that with her. So 12, 13, 2, 3. Do I need to do it like... Okay, let's do it again. Oh my god, it's so hard. Okay, again. Thirteen. Two. Or was it the other way around? Three. <laughs> it's four numbers! Like, I can memorize all of this about these games. It's four numbers! Twelve. 13, 2, 3, I did it right. 12, 13. Oh, you gotta go to, yeah. You gotta go the long way. Okay, that makes perfect sense, actually. It makes it harder. So let's do it again. Where's 12? You get to 12. 12. What did I? Okay. And now go to 13 from this side. Then 2. Then 3. There we go. <laughs> it's gonna be loaded with bullets if I remember correctly. Yeah! For the... One of the biggest cheats of a boss, the first battle with Pyramid Head. The trick is, there's no battle. You're just gonna waste a lot of ammo and things, see. And you'll see. So you literally don't have to fight him, but you know, everybody who played it for the first time was, Holy fucking shit, shoot everything at it! And if you find this ammo, if you, if you do check the toilet and get the code and find this ammo, of course, you're gonna be like, that's that makes sense, that's to kill the boss. No, he's there just to troll you. Can't be killed. And there's a reason for that. It comes more clear again towards the end of the game. So as you can see, I'm like sprinkling tiny spoilers. What I think wouldn't spoil the main game are lying figures. There's one here, let him spit, spit, spit. And then beat the shit out of him. Uh, with the stick. I'm not gonna even dignify you with the gun, motherfucker. Uh. Oh, I should have done it again before you get ah oh. kick him as soon as he falls. Again, again, yeah. Okay. Let's start let's start checking all the rooms. So I'm in the new Yeah, he doesn't have the map of this area, so we gotta find it. Hmm I remember where it is, yeah. So let's check all the rooms we can see. Mark with blue, it can open. Broken. I mean, that makes it easier, right? All the broken rooms and everything. Another laundry room, but there's no puzzle here. Another, like a padded room. You see these? That's what I'm talking about. There's a lot of those in this game. It's locked. There's a note. Dear Tim. I have to run an errand. Oh, yeah, this would be... I'm gonna read this in an older word. Dear Tim, I have run a... Uh, I have run an errand. I have to run an errand, so I'm going out. I left the house key with Uncle David. You know where he lives, don't you? The key is in the room near the first floor staircase, you dummy. I'll be back as soon as I can, so please watch the place while I'm gone. Your grandma, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love doing voices when I read. Okay, lights off. That's a mannequin leg, mannequin head, whatever. Try to... Shouldn't spring too much in the darkness. Just enough so he doesn't get me. I want to get as close to him. If I had the light on... Kick him, kick him while he's down. Uh, fuck you, I can turn on my light. Wait a minute. Oh yeah, I don't have the map. I'm looking for the map, so... It's gonna be one of the staircases. This one's locked, so not that one, it's the other one. Yeah. We checked everything here, all the doors, right? Everything's locked. Okay, make, that makes it easier. One floor less to explore. It's 
So map should be there it is. I missed it the first time or the first few times. So we're in Blue Creek apartment now, which is right next to Woodside apartment. Like too close to it, but okay. And now let's remember that's right okay so right now I want to go down first and check the first floor because uh, aside from you know oh wait the third floor is inaccessible anyway isn't it let's check yeah okay I'm glad I went here otherwise I'd be back here later for nothing okay so just the first floor we're close just a few minutes about 10 minutes maybe to the first pyramid head Wait, there's two doors? This one doesn't work. That makes it easier. This is going to be a little flooded. Oh, those are creepers. The little bugs. Do I want to swing aimlessly or I'm just going to shoot them? They can be more dangerous, especially if they swarm you because of that. Kick him, kick him, kick him. Uh. What's my help? Okay, I wanna I do wanna keep it low. But I don't wanna die. So ooh, a med kit. Nothing here. Okay. It's gonna be at least one more. So let's start all the way from the bottom. Dude! Okay. Fuck you. Uh. Broken. These he didn't scare me like the guy who came out of the closet. Holy shit. Every fucking time. No matter how many times I play this game. Every time that guy. I know he's there. But to, there's something with the movement. I mean. They did their job good. Obviously. Okay. It's time to find. <gasps> is this where, where I think it is? Are we gonna meet? We, well, we already met her, but we're gonna delve a little deeper into. Uh, okay, so that's where I need to put the third coin. Three bright coins in five holes B. At one end sits the seducer of she. The wind from behind the woman doth play. The formless one, Null, lies furthest from day. The old one beside the serpent sits not. Tis to the prisoners left that he doth brought. So this puzzle, this is an example how puzzles, uh, see where, I don't think you saw that at the beginning, so Sand Hill 2 and 3 give you the option, di uh, separate difficulty for action and puzzles. So you can go like with super easy action and hard puzzles or with hard action and easy puzzles, you can adjust it to your play style. But the puzzles really do change. And this one is pretty easy because it's, there's elimination. It's going to trick you by uh, mentioning something you don't even need. It's not necessary. Uh, but on hard, I remember the poem gets trickier. But still, you know, nothing gets as hard as <laughs> that fucking Shakespeare puzzle on hard. It's not healthy. Here's with God. Oh, a save point. Nice. Too cool to save, so I'm just going to pass it. If you select puzzle difficulty as easy, uh, they're pretty much up. They're, they're gonna solve themselves. In most cases, it's like, oh, there's a we need a code for this door. Oh, there's a note here. The code is seven three five. Thank you, note. Well, normally it would be like a song like this one, like a little poem, and on hard it would be something insane. Like you'd really have to think about it. So I like beating these games two and three. Uh, in order so I would start with the uh, with easy I think I went with action easy puzzle normal I don't think I ever did puzzle easy I tried and it was just boring because there are no puzzles just uh, a locked door that oh, okay there's another one Ignore it. Huh? so if I look at this if I turn off the light, he's looking straight ahead of him. But if he has light, you can also not, you can't look at the map. 
uh, unless there's a light source above you or you turn off your light turn on your light and then you can you, you know open the map and all that but not just that he will turn his head which is really helpful especially in a 3d environment without fixed cameras where you can't really see everything always or is it handgun bullets anything else I think she's in there we're about to see her again so we met with met Angela Orozco we met Andy Dabrowski and we're gonna see a bit more of Angela and her issues No one interesting. <laughs> yeah, I'm James. Angela. Angela, okay. I don't know what you're planning, but there's always another way. Really? But you're the same as me. Oh. It's easy just to run. Besides, is what we deserve. No, she kind of knows more about him than like him. he does. I'm not like you. I'm if better. You're I, I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Did you find your mother? Not yet. She's not anywhere. Did she live in this apartment building? I don't know. So, all you know is she lived in this town. What did you say? What did you say? How do you know that? Well, I just figured, because this is where you're looking for her. How else would I know? Yeah. Oh yeah, the movie soundtrack is combined soundtracks of the first three games. All the songs except for the Johnny Cash one, uh, Ring of Fire, are from the games. I'm sorry. I think this is Team of Laura reprise. I think the song's name. Not yet. Her name's Mary. She's my wife. I, I'm sorry. It's okay. Anyway, she's dead. I don't know why I think she's here. She's dead? Don't worry. I'm not crazy. <laughs> At least, I don't think so. Well, no crazy person thinks they're crazy. I better find my mama. Should I mean, my mother. This town's dangerous. Now I know what you meant back there in the cemetery. I'll be okay by myself. Besides, I'd just slow you down. What about that? Will you hold it for me? Sure. No problem. I'm not sure what I might do. It's supposed to be sad, but it always makes me giggle. <laughs> Don't. So you might already you might get a whiff of her. What's bothering her? What brought her to Sun Hill? The way she reacts? She just moved towards her and she, she reacted like that. And then she said she's been bad. Ugh. Oh, my controller turned off. That's, that's, <laughs> There's the last coin. Okay, I thought it, we missed it. Okay, there's a map here. Is that a painting or, a, or the map of the US? I would say that's a map of the US. Magazines on the floor, nothing unusual. See, Heather would talk about the magazines. She said what they are and how she read the magazines like that. And that's, that's you know, probably my favorite aspect of Sand Hill 3. A very fine mirror. So this is 
For the ending we're chasing, the canonical one, this is important. And one of the things I should keep doing is, so I shouldn't examine the picture or the letter as much, but I should examine the Angela's knife. Knife from Angela, I don't plan, plan using it as a weapon. Which is weird, it's a huge knife. It's even bigger than the one in uh, Silent Hill 1, which you start with, you know, the, the knife. This is like even larger, but it's here for... So every time you do this, it's stained with something red. Like, what could it be, James? One of the things I need... So I already said for this ending, I want to take care, less care of myself. Keep myself. That don't heal as soon as you're hurt. Walk around with lower health. Stuff like that. But you also want to examine the knife often. Because in for this ending, you do want to... Uh, you basically got to do it. I can't say more without, you know, giving a lot of weight. But you can see, like, what... He's suspecting that she was contemplating suicide, right, with that knife. So, that's why she said, Will you keep it for me? Wait, let's do it in the dark, not with a pistol. Still don't want to use the pistol. Much, even though I already have 100 bullets. But yeah. Gonna need it later. When we get to the hospital, where the nurses are much more dangerous to deal with uh, short range weapon with melee weapon that's a mannequin leg or mannequin I think it's called mannequin legs it's a mannequin like a you know a clothed mannequin but obviously female with legs that extend to more legs oh my god just kick it James and I mentioned it before but it symbolizes James's sexual frustration and you're gonna see why so I am giving this like I gotta talk about symbolism. I want to talk about monster symbolisms, but I don't want to do it in a way that's supposed too much. Just like slight whiffs, a clues about it. Why do I keep saying whiffs? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. So that's that's it. We got all the coins. Uh, I can go back to second floor and actually no, that's in the first floor, right? That's the. Oh, was it though, or was it in the second floor? I think it was the second floor where I put the coins. But I'm going to check this room once more. Wait, that's the room I came from. There was nothing there but Angela, I'm pretty sure. Wait, not the third floor, the first floor. I like how he... So as you can see, he, the first map we had was Woodside Apartments. But then he jumped over to Blue Creek. And when he got the second map, he put them next to each other. So you can see both of them together. I just... That's amazing. That's... you don't, I didn't see that in many games. And they're, they don't look the same always, so you see the second floor is more slanted, the the seam, stuff like that. It's like the details, that's what makes these games so good. Yeah, I'm gonna say, yeah, that's where the puzzle is, so straight, then left. It's gonna be this door. Now let's read that again, we have an old man, and a woman, and a snake. And the puzzle reads... So what we want to do is three so three coins and five holes. At one end, seducer of she, so snake, because she snake seduced Adam uh, Eve, right, in the Bible. Uh, there's nothing behind her, so we gotta make sure there's a space behind her. There's nothing on the opposite side. Oh, there's nothing, so snake, then there's nothing behind the woman, but on the opposite side, there's nothing. Okay, the back, so where, depending where the woman is turned, like facing left or right, that's going to tell us. And we know that the old man is not, oh wait, there's no woman, hold on, yeah. Uh, the old man's, yeah, that's the prisoner, okay. He's left of the prisoner, okay, I think I, I got this. So... A line of five one inch round depression set into the table. Not gonna use the thing. Gotta use the manually, okay? So let's start with the snake. Snake, old man, and woman, and prisoner, okay? Wait, I could, I didn't. Before I do that, should give, yeah, they have that. The old man is old man. And the prisoner, yeah, that's what's going on. So she's facing the left. So there should be a... Sp okay. Makes sense now.
to the left of her okay so ah oh, fuck's sake just use the coin <laughs> yeah it's like with the keys you'll talk about it but you have to use it from the menu so let's start with the snake we know the snake is gonna be all the way to the right I'm gonna say yeah because there's no other way he could be on the left as well yeah so now we put the woman we know there's a space behind her because there's a wind there's wind as the poem said so I'm gonna put it here in the middle and then we know that on the left side the further side there's nothing so the old man and he's to the left of the woman so that's perfect he's gonna be just left over so this one is pretty easy on hard it gets way more complicated that's it yeah line house key nothing else in the desk okay let's go open the line house the coin puzzle desk the tag on it says line it must be the key mentioned in that note the one that says that it was left with uncle david uncle david okay with that out of the way there should be a big yeah there it is line house is what takes us to pyramid head now just because of the nature of this battle like I said, it's not going to be a battle. It's going to be running away like sissy and waiting for the for him to just go. He has a one-hit kill. And see where you're about to see why I cursed the Dead by Daylight permit head. They got the design and everything perfect. But he acts differently and I understand that he should fit in line with the game he is in. Not act like he would in Silent Hill, which is not like that. But, hello Joe, nice to see you. But... I prefer this one. I prefer slow, fridgy horror instead of bah in your face. Okay, that's the line house, right? Yeah. Okay, final room before we leave this place. That's it, I would say. I, I kind of want to be cocky and just get in there. And, you know, just do it. But, like I said, he has a one-hit kill that if I'm not careful, uh, he can just hit me once and that's it. So, <laughs> yeah, run, run, he's there. <laughs> Mutation is worse than any pyramid head. Oh, there we go. More bullets. More bullets for noobs to... Rookies to spend on the guy you can't kill. I'm not sure if, like, I remember Sun Hill later games, even if you don't save, continue would bring you back to the previous checkpoint. Even the first game did that, right? I think it did. So, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> Scary, yeah. Location is very scary. People run away miles around when they hear him coming. Ooh, this is sweaty. This is how I like doing it. I don't have to. I could totally save, but I like not saving, having the least saves. It also helps with the score in the end, which also helps getting the bonus weapons in the new game plus. So let's do it the best we can. We're gonna heal up here and God knows when again. Unequip this. He's gonna slow me down full of bullets uh, gonna use the big one right or do I want it nah ah, I should have used it still not green okay another one there we go I should have used the, the big one so yeah this is not good in terms of trying to keep yourself on low health for that ending but Uh, I'll get hurt soon again. That's it. I don't think there is anything else there. Let's go meet the metal head. Examine the key. Is there anything interesting on it? Key to doors, door that leads from the west side pole to the stairway. Not stairway. Okay. 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 <laughs> you do. 
Get ready. My palms are already sweaty. More of that, yeah. Oh god, you interrupted him in his coitus moment and he's not happy about it. <gasps> Every time I hear that sound, the sound design is just like, oh. Just gotta kind of trick him. Ooh. So that swing is not bad. The overhead swing is the instant death one. He will that one will take a few seconds to like charge. But if he does it, if he hits me with that, that's it. You just fall down. There, that's it. You see? Jup. Yep. He's gonna get stuck there for a second. And then another overhead. Okay, you just gotta get away from the <clears throat> from the big knife for now. He can also turn at some points randomly. I don't know what causes that, but he will turn and just as he's doing the overhead swing. Whoa! Holy shit. Oh my god, it's tense. It looks probably not as interesting when you're not playing, but. Oh, this guy is not to be fucked around. Come on. Come on, be quick. As long as I don't stand in front of him when he's preparing to do that, good thing he like signals it from afar. Woo! Imagine all the bullets I spent here for the first time. You can shoot him all you want, he won't give a shit. He'll just be Move! Oh I'll just switch to a wired controller. <laughs> this is unreliable. Hello, sir. Will you go away, please? Ah! Ah! That's the loop I found. Maybe some other people know a better loop, but this like works great for me. In the first part, I run. Who is right here? In the second part. Oh, don't turn! I thought he was gonna turn to the left and just run around. Be done with it, please. Just go away. I like how James is chill around him, not even like... <laughs> not even an iota of fear. He's just like... Looking at him all confident. <laughs> Running in his pansy way. Go away already! Time's up, come on! Come on! I didn't see if I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! Come on! Come on! That's the one that kills me, yeah. When I fuck up there, just ends up on my head. Will you go away? It's been enough. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, okay, there we go. He's going. The siren signified his departure. I can approach and he can still hit me. I just want you to see where he's going. Run, sissy. I could have. Ah! I could have had him. I I'm letting him go. I'm just letting him go. <laughs> so brave. Goodbye. And stay out. Next time I'm not gonna take... <laughs> I'm not gonna take it easy on you. Is he coming back? He shouldn't. You should just leave. Maybe just don't tease him. I'm like being cocky here from the stream, but I should probably cry in a corner. <laughs> okay, yeah, he opened it. Oh, that was so close. And I even started like going slowly back. We can speed up? Cool. Good to know. So we can go or just like speed up backwards. Nice. Oh my god. Okay, after this part, I think everything is easy. Like, even the, the final boss is not as hard as this. What do you have to do? Just run around, as you've seen. Just evade him <laughs> until he goes away. That's the trap I was talking about, so a lot of people, especially since you find all that, that ammo in the safe, so I have like 114 bullets, everybody who played this for the first time, I'm pretty sure, shot him. And you can, it even signifies you can't actually hurt him, because every time you shoot him, the bullets ricochet off of his pyramid helmet, so it just a little, and it's obviously he's on phase, he doesn't give a shit. 
Okay, down with the apartments. Off to the park. If I can, I'll save before the park. If not, we'll just do the park bit and save in Heaven's Night. We're about to meet someone else. Another person. First aid kit. That we don't even use, but okay. Oh yeah, before that we're actually gonna talk to the person who fucked us over with the key. The tiny one. And she's not tiny, Tina. With Pyramid Head, you don't fight him until the very end. Like, you will know when to fight him. James will even be like, I'm done with you. He tells you. And then you fight him. Up until that point, is that bullets? No, it's just a smudge. You would look at it. Until that point, whenever you see him, run. Just, you can't do anything to him, and he can do a lot to you. We will be able to get his weapon as a, a you know, for ourselves later, for James. So we are talking in plural. But, like, we're all in this, so yeah. Okay, that's it. That's it. This is not Maria. Maria's coming. You. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who stepped on my hand. I don't know. Maybe I did. What's a little girl like you doing here anyway? Huh? Are you blind or something? What's that letter? A letter. None of your business. Me. Mm -hmm. You didn't love Mary anyway. Wait. How could you? How do you know Mary's name? So obviously the girl knows him. Her name is Laura, and the main theme, theme of Laura, is after her, actually. Surprisingly, it's not after Mary or James. And I already mentioned this, I don't know, I think I did in this session, but she doesn't see any of this. For her, hello Gavin, hello, nice to see you. <laughs> not Pyramid Head, hopefully. Uh, for her, the town is normal. There's no fog, there's no monsters, there's nothing happening. You're not supposed to know that yet, but it's one of those things, like I said, I'll spoil tiny things that to make more sense of other things. But yeah, for her, there's a reason why that's why it's like that. More handgun bullets? Yeah. Nothing else. And like I said, Eddie Eddie said he didn't see Pyramid Head, but he saw weird monsters. Angela is spooked by something. She was contemplating suicide there. So all these all these three people see something, and everybody sees something differently. But Laura is like, what the hell is wrong with you guys? This is like, nothing's happening, you know, for her. Oh, Rosewater Park, here we are. Here we are. <laughs> uh. So that's their special place. From the letter he read at the beginning. You know, it would be cool if the if the game ended here. Like you, that's you've seen. If you look, take a look at the whole map, the entirety of it. So like not the zoomed in parts, but the whole thing. You've been through most of it. You think there's one more location. As far as the story is concerned, we haven't really touched much yet. We're about to though, with meeting this person just I want to scan for some yeah he's 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 really good at turning his head like signifying where stuff is okay I think I'm gonna hit the bullet limit here yeah 50 more to go so I think it's 200 in the second game as well at least in the first one it was 200 bullets oh what are you looking at A health drink, sure, I always welcome those. There's a statue here. I don't think he's he's gonna be one of those, but oh no, Patrick Chester. Patrick Chester, son of Edward. He fought and died for the people, for liberty, and for all of our tomorrows. His memory lives on. Hmm, quite. Patrick 
looks like a horse. I suppose that he... Oh, yeah, okay, that's a torso and missing heads. And even the monuments are fucked up in Fox Island Hill. <laughs> C word. Yeah, I hate you because of the... Because of the Earth's curvature, I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> My son, the only thing that hates you is time. But time's, time hates every man. T time loves no man. That sounds more poetic, yeah. Nothing there in the corner, James? As long as he's not turning his head, we're not mi missing anything. Oh, we're missing something here, though. There we go. I think I can st stop swatting the the stick and go to the pistol at this point. Just too many bullets. Even for, even if I shoot every nurse in the hospital, there's still gonna be plenty. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that's what I do. That's me. Hippie Tesla. That's actually, if you read it backwards in Satanic, it says hateful Tesla. Mm hmm. You never noticed that. But it's true. Okay, I think that's it. Wait, there's. You can't go this way. It should return me back. Yeah, okay, yeah. There's a gate. That should go up. But all the items have been claimed. Let's go, Jimmy Boy. Jimmy Boy Johnson. He's tired, I can see by his the way he moves. Ooh, more health. Okay. This is it. We're in the special place. So remember, uh, James is hoping to meet Mary here. That's what that's what he came for, right? Oh, huh? there she is. Standing there. Mary? Look like your girlfriend? No, my late wife. I can't believe it. You could be her twin. Your face, your voice, just your hair and clothes are different. My name is Maria. I don't look like a uh, ghost, do I? See? Feel how warm I am? You're really You're close. Warm, we just met. See, he's, he's kind of hazy. She says she was waiting in our special place. And that's here? Anyway, I haven't seen her. Is this your only special place? Ah, uh, he's remembering something. Just met. It's this way. You're coming with me? You were gonna Uninvited? Just leave me? No, but with all these monsters around? No, I just I'm all alone here. Everyone else is gone. I look like Insolence wins again. So what a meeting! Like she's off right off the bat. She's like so free with it. So here's the thing. Uh, I said all those things affect and uh, affect endings. The way you take care of yourself. The way you gotta keep looking at that knife, right? 
You gotta examine it once in a while. And the way you treat Maria. So you can literally... You can leave her behind because she's slower. She will stop to heal. But you can do this. Push her. That also counts. Like all of those actions, how you treat her and how you behave when she's around you go towards the ending. Now, uh, I remember the knife and uh, taking care of myself or not taking care of myself being requirements for this ending I'm going for. But I don't remember. I don't know if for this ending I even have to be careful around her or just like... I think I, I should just ditch her, I'm not sure. The memory of the 67 who died of illness shall now sleep in the lake. But you just threw them in the lake? It's kind of barbaric, but okay. I mean, that's very vague there, Monument. Gotta tell me more, otherwise I'm gonna start thinking a lot of things. Should be some items here, right? Oh, just the end of the boardwalk. Sorry, Maria. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> Oh yeah, okay, there will be a save point at the motel, that's where I'll, I'm gonna save. Nothing there. Let's go around it. You can see she gets tired easier. Really? Oh yeah, that's the... Yeah, this is gonna be important later. Again, pushed her. A victim of the persecution by the Blankens. Jenny Blank Carroll lived with pride and honor. What happened here shall never be forgotten. Like the witch trials, probably? See that mound of earth? He's not gonna comment on it now. Okay, Maria, I remember one issue with her being that he wants to look at her, her so he doesn't look towards the goodies. So snap out of it, man. Is that all? Yeah, there's actually one. The other side is doubled. This one is just mono. Yeah. Right? I think I was here. The fog isn't helping. Wait, there's a, there's another? Then no. Okay. First the inner side, then the outer side. That's what's good. The way this ending works and why I have to take care of, less care of myself is basically I have to show that I want to find Mary. Uh, if I were closer with Maria, watched her, healed her, all that, I would veer towards the ending that includes her. Like to change, the endings change a lot, and it, it, so the way you acted will also determine, like you know, because you're controlling the protagonist, how well he's aware of what has happening. So it can go to from you know the one that we're gonna do, <laughs> just push her out of the way, to. Um, him just forgetting. If I remember correctly, he just forgets all about Mary and just get you. Your actions transfer onto him. That's all I'm trying to say. It's really good for a third-person game to put you into the shoes of the protagonist. Oh shit! That's a good trap, put the hell next to the enemy. I remember if this game reloads when you aim, let's check. No, the first one does. No, this one doesn't. You actually have to reload. But, I'm gonna do it. I like to see him exchange the clip, so that's why. I, like you, Here in Resident Evil, if I don't really have to combine and reload, I'll do it like a pro. Like, <laughs> You can ignore them in the streets. Screw you. Did she just get hit? Maria? This way. Okay, I just gotta confirm. It's a good thing I'm gonna save here, because I'm gonna confirm for the next session that... What, what are you looking at? Okay. That was... That was really good. Thank God he has worse reflexes than I do. Okay. Seven bullets left in the clip. Doesn't matter, because I'm going to find, like, 
hundreds in the street. There's, there's more ammo in the game than you need, but the trick is because it's supposed to scare you, right? And you're not supposed to just breeze through it. There should be something here. Okay, don't shoot her. You can actually shoot her. So is there one or two? If it's, if it's one, I can just plank him to death. I even need him to hit me a bit because I want to lower my health. She's so unfazed by the guy beating the shit out of legs with legs in front of her. <laughs> oh no, look, she's looking around cautiously. Just hit me. Nope. Too slow. Okay, there should be something here. Oh, there it is. Should be on the other side of where I was at the apartment. Yeah, there's the Blue Creek. So, wait a minute. Where's the Blue Creek apartment? Oh, that's it. Yep. So, yeah, just across the street from where I came from, the apartments. That's it for the hell. Wait, this is on Hill 2. I can actually go here. I thought I... I can. I'll go all the way to Salt Street. Explore Cut Street and... Rendell, actually this southern part, I don't think I can, that's the thing, I just want to see where the road is cut off, and then we can move on to the save point at the motel. Wait, there's something written here, but it's, okay, it's not to be read, okay, fair enough. There's the door of the nightmares, locked. As the poem said on the other side of the door, it will open at night and it will lead into nightmares. They weren't lying about that part, so... Sorry, Maria. If I had to take care of you, I'm sorry. I don't know which what I need to do with you for descending. So let's try to stay neutral for now. Just move, woman. Holy shit, it's, I can't see. <laughs> the fog is just... Nope. Okay, that's blocked. It's easy to see at least. Woo! Run, 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 girl! Yeah, run away from him. Away. Alright, Seaward, have a great afternoon, I'm gonna say. Move, Maria! Move, for fuck's sake! Okay, I have to beg her to get out of the way. It was nice seeing you, Seaward. I'm glad you dropped by, as always. With a plank in my hand. I'm gonna disperse justice! Yeah, after me. Okay. No. Leave her alone! Almost got her. Ooh! Now, what's left? Later, Seaward. Cut Street. This is like. The Senate's Cut cir Circus? The 60s band? Or. Cause I know all the streets say, woohoo, you, I hate these crawling assholes. Stop it, in the name of the plank law. Kick him, kick him. Oh, never mind. Uh. Uh. Kick him now, kick him now. Yeah, okay. Slow but efficient, James. There's, there are a lot of streets are named after sci-fi or horror authors, like Sagan Street, I think it was the first Sun Hill. <laughs> it's different when you play online games. But yeah, you're right. Holy shit, it's been three hours. It's oh, it's almost midnight. Yep, I gotta finish. This game, I told you, zombie, this is what, one of my favorite games of all time. So, I get lost in it. I used to, like, work at... Get up for work at 4 a.m. 5, I think? 4.30, something like that. I'd play Silent Hill 2 till 2, 3, sleep an hour and go to work all day. That's how much I like. Ooh, right. Treasure troll. Or just one health, but still. Let's get out of here. There's a wall. Oh, what is he looking at? Oh, another med kit. Game, you're so generous with this. I gotta let something hurt me because I don't want to linger too long in full health.
No, that guy. He's perfect. He can hurt me, but not devastate me. Do it. Come on, get up. Spray me in the face. Oh my god, you suck at your job. You can't even do that properly. Never mind. I'll find other ways to get hurt. More jeeps. Jeep, 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 jeep. Jeep, 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 jeep. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I got to that, but yep. Let's not besmirch Sun Hill's name. <laughs> Though, to be honest, when I first heard there was a movie named The Room, I was hoping it would be a movie after Sun Hill for The Room. It was not. <laughs> God damn, I don't remember the fog being this thick, but beautiful. I, I think it's just because it doesn't want me to go this way. It's supposed to be scarier. Kind of easier to see when the night falls. It's gonna be dark, but it's also gonna be not foggy. Okay, there's the Jackson. We can save there, I'm pretty sure. Well, you guy, can you hurt me? But not Maria. Oh, thank you. Okay, good enough. I should have just stepped on him, now I gotta do this. He's gonna get up, then I gotta do more. Eh! Eh! And don't attack me anymore! Oh, mannequin legs. Uh! 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 Run, Maria! He's got a spray! He's not afraid to use it! Oh! How dare you, sir? How the fuck dare you? I was not gonna kill you, but fuck you! Oh, I should've stepped on him. Okay, let's continue banging. Ah. Okay. That was good. One for one. One for one. Fair enough. And I'm in a state I wanna be. I wanted to blink a little. Cause I need to be hurt. Thanks for the follow, Skullwag. Appreciate it. Oh, there's the motel. We came from this side. Let's get from the front entrance just to be sure there's nothing left. Maybe I get to, like, get all the items this time? Though I didn't do that in SH1. I forgot that's a thing, honestly. Just ignore them. They can't hurt you if you don't look at them. Maria, you coming? There she is. And they won't enter the motel grounds as far as I'm... I remember, so it should be good. There should be a save point on a car or something here. That's the room. So in Silent Hill 3, Heather is gonna stay at this hotel at some point. But Seward left, so he missed that. You'll see it in the real game, though. No trash bashing. No trash bashing! Where's the save point? Should be on the car. No backing in? Why? I don't understand. I never understood that. Why not? So it wouldn't damage something? So you just go straight? Is that a thing? Because over here people just park by backing in. There's the save point. Okay. Alrighty, let's end the session here. It was amazing. Three hours. I don't know how I held it this long, but memory card slot one. So you could go to slot two, but if I do that, Sun Hill 3 only saves on slot one. And that's the only from the PlayStation Quadrology that does that. And I need the Silent Hill 2 save to be on the same memory card to pull to in the order to activate those Easter eggs. So we're going to keep it on the first one. Now, just like the first game, you can make a new save, which will go into the same, fi same file. So one file. It's like a pro what nowadays would be a gamer profile. So this save and this like save possible... 9 kilobytes needed for additional save, right? But if we go to new uh, new file, it's 95 kilobytes because it's going to create a whole new profile. So multiple people can play and have different unlocks and everything and keep it. It's In 2001, that was unheard of. I didn't even catch that until I, I accidentally, because I saw save, save possible, I saved new file, didn't think of it. And then I realized, why is it almost 10 times the size? Clicked and then I checked my memory card. There was another file. If I went there, everything goes into the same file. It just gets bigger by 9 kilobytes every time. 
But yeah, that's all from me for tonight. Thank you everyone for watching. Thank you, Zombie Mutation, uh, Gavin, and Seaward for support. Really appreciate it. You guys made this last this long without me getting tired. And obviously, I like talking about it. It's nice when people are interested. So thank you for everything. Tomorrow, we're back to Outbreak. And then more Outbreak. And then Sunday is going to be the second episode of uh, Silent Hill 2. Yeah, Maria, it's scary, I know. <laughs> After this, I'm very tired. Honestly, it's almost 11.30 p.m. Yeah, we're in the same time zone, but yeah. I am tired. I, I can feel my <laughs> jaw getting tired because I didn't shut up for three fucking hours. But I'm also mentally refreshed. That That's true. Thank you, zombie. Okay, everyone. Uh, have a wonderful day, evening, or afternoon, whatever you have. And I'll see you tomorrow with Resident Evil Outbreak. Bye for now. Good night, zombie.